after planting your dragon fruit, remember you space in a difference of two meters from pole to pole and three meters between the rows. The major care you take to your dragon fruit is pruning. Pruning means you are taking off the sub branches from the main branch. Now, because before one year your plant will not have reached the tire level, you should prune the ones that are coming from this major plant. And this is this one. And you prune that point where it is coming, the joint where it's joining your major plant. This is where you cut. And while cutting, make sure you are using a sharp object so that you don't injure your plant. This is the pruning shears or the secateurs so that you don't injure your plant and also so that this plant, wherever you have removed your branch, it can also grow a fruit in the near future. You should start pruning immediately after you plant. That is after you see some branches growing from your stems, your four stems. You sh that is where you should start to avoid, to avoid wastage of time and energy to feed these branches not to grow too big. Because if I come here and prune this one, it will have wasted a lot of time for this plant and also a lot of energy to feed it. It is very good to prune when it is still young, like this one which is here. It's good to prune when still small. The advantage of pruning is to make sure that your plant, which is under one year or nine months, it will start fruiting on time and also to make sure that it's growing very fast to the top. Our target is this plant to be the six feet we talk about and it starts flowing from the tire. And with that, it is able to grow fast because there is no competition of nutrients and also to be very healthy simply because there is no many branches like these ones which are here that are encouraging your plant to lose a lot of energy which is not necessary. Even after your plant is one year, you are supposed to prune in a way that each and every branch is getting direct sunlight. With that, even if a branch will have the flowers, the flowers will start maturing to fruit because they are getting direct sunlight. Also, you are reducing the space or environment for pests and diseases to breed because they will not be having a dark place for them to breed. And with that space whereby even at the topmost here, your plant can get direct sunlight. So even the pests cannot breed in that particular position. So making it very important for you to prune your dragon fruit. And at this stage of fruiting, advantage of pruning is that once it is, your plant produces fruits, it will have big fruits because not the energy is not wasted into unnecessary branches. And also the plant will be in a position to feed the fruits that it has. Also, it will be in a position to have sweet fruits because this energy that your branch is carrying, it is now concentrating on the fruits only, but not to the branches which are now wasting the energy. To know the branch you are to prune, you, you remember we planted the three branches. So those three branches, you will only allow one which is going to the top. Only one that is going to the top. So with your four or three that you planted in one pole, only those three should go at the top. So if any is growing sides from the sides, like this one which is growing from this side here, you have to remove it because we, are only, we only want one branch to go to the top so that even when it comes to this position, we will not have that challenge of, of preventing it to have a lot of branches. With only one, we will be in a position to make sure that we guide them well and also we have only those branches, the major branches for fruiting only. The importance of sunlight to your dragon fruit, one is that every fruit requires direct sunlight for the flower to mature to be a fruit and also to kill some pests that would come and maybe attract other diseases to your plant. But the good thing about the dragon fruit has got thorns on its stem that is making it not to be attractive to so many pests because once the pest will come to your branch, they will be injured by these sharp thorns. So with the, with the reduced branches and having the direct sunlight, most of your flowers will not abort because they are getting the sunlight they require
to be a fruit and also to give the taste to your fruit that is now to be a good and enjoyed meal in our tables. While you are pruning, you observe the fact that you have your sharp object and also if your plant is at productive ears, you should be very careful not to prune the one that has fruits because if you are pruning from the joint, maybe this one, the joint is not very vis visible and wherever it's coming out, it's where we have another one which we should do away. So it's good to be very careful not to remove the one that are fruiting. Remember, the aim is to, ham to have a lot of fruits. So if you take off that fruit, that branch that is fruiting and leave the one that is that you you didn't want, it will be a very big a very big loss to your company and also to your farm because you need these fruits as your business. Just in case you injure your plant while pruning, it will take too much time to heal compared to that time when you just pruned well at the joint. If you now decide to prune now, let's say for example here, it will take too much time because you injured the plant and also it's not easy for it to heal. When we are advised to tip like this, this is tipping, not pruning, is when your branch is growing too tall, like this one here. This one is growing too tall and it is almost touching the ground. You can now tip so that now it will stop growing tall and now it will have to start fruiting because all the energy is now concentrating on the branch and we have cut short that growth. to prune is after every harvest and if your plant is not at that stage of pruning as soon as you get those small branches that is the sub branches you should remove them like for me here i prune after every two to three months after the season 